it was like everything that you had planned anything coming up in the next couple of months coronavirus is like mm, contracts cancelled things put on hold this has been cancelled not knowing when when next you can perform or ne- when next you can put a show on at a time like this it's such a shame that it tends to be like, the arts and such that really suffer when at the same time that's what provides people most relief beyond the immediate threat to life COVID-19 has disrupted markets, changed lives, and revealed the fragility of our society. The pandemic is also heavily impacting the creative industries, leading to the suspension of film, art exhibitions, theatre productions, music events, and television programmes. During this rapidly evolving situation, creativity and problem solving are going to be tested, but they are also ultimately needed. At the time of this recording, COVID-19 has infected more than 1 million people across the globe. And tragically, we know these numbers will continue to rise. Europe is now the epicentre, and another recession seems inevitable. But before the outbreak, the creative industries were growing at a rate five times faster than the average UK economy contributing around 12.7 million every hour. On the 20th of March, the British Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, first announced measures intended to support the British workforce. To you, I say this, you have not been forgotten. And it's safe to say that many are not entirely reassured. Christiane, Dami and Jazz are just three creators who have been affected. So, like many, Have they been left counting the costs? Or have they found new ways to adapt and create within their own four walls? So my cash flow is basically shrinked by more than 50% in the last two weeks. Really exciting contracts to get and be like, oh, for the next six months, I know there'll definitely be like a lot of cash flow coming in. Literally in the space of two weeks, like a lot of them have just disappeared as a small business as well. Like it's always so important to have cash flow all the time. My income isn't from music kind of thing. I don't think I'm earning that much from music for me to just live on music on its own. So that's why obviously I do the nursing as well. It's more like a foundation for me. We're kind of doing more of promoting ourselves and getting ourselves out there. So that's not been really affected. But I think for if it was a different type of musician where they earn their money from like doing gigs and sets and different things, it would be very affected. And for me, I think it might affect just the progress of getting out there a bit more and getting more fans and getting a bit closer to doing music full time. For freelancers and self-employed, there's still not much clarity, especially in TV. Not being funny, but like TV is, so I'm pointing that because that's where my living room is, but like, this is what's entertaining people. China's now starting to recover, um, so there's definitely space to order stock again, but from the same respect I can't go to the office and pack anything so I will have to find a way to make sure that I've got the cash flow to keep paying for this office every month because the rent's always still going to be there it is me just doing everything as well in terms of other employment my mum is a key worker and so she works with kids who have severe learning difficulties and they are always desperate for staff and as like as good as it is to be able to get universal credit and such it's not enough to really survive on and I'm currently still paying rent up in London. Many are now at risk of stress over debt, job insecurity and infection anxiety. Some healthcare professionals believe the mental health impact is going to last longer than the physical health impact. What if everything's not going to be fine and what if I can't do this anymore so I think I spent like two years working so hard to get it to the position that it's in and it's kind of like I hope it all doesn't like go away overnight I'm from like a working class family my mum's a single parent like my mum was on benefits when we were growing up and it was just something that I never saw for myself but at least I'm in a privileged position where there's something I'm able to do. Um, but at the same time, I think it's a great time to sit down and kind of like rebrand as a business and think, well, what direction do I actually want my business to go in? Kind of 
playing it by ear really and just taking day by day and I'd, I think everybody um, as a whole doesn't really know how to deal with it because we've never really gone through anything like this before. What's changed is that I am spending more time on whatever I'm working on so if I was right, I'm writing a song I'm spending more time I'm not feeling like any pressure in a way because I feel like the walls are like a standstill so there's no there's no much pressure it's just more just spend more time doing and trying to get it better and trying to get it right so I think yeah it might it might be working in a positive way as well yeah compared to the heroes on the front line NHS staff care workers supermarket assistants delivery drivers compared to the huge job losses across the board education hospitality it's not wholly unreasonable to view the creative arts as a bit of a novelty, as non-essential. It's historic, in fact. When a school needs to make cuts, the creative arts are the first to go. But humans are inherently creative. Every single one. It's what differentiates us from other animals. What makes us human. What we lack in instinct, we make up for in ingenuity. So dance is like my biggest passion. Ballroom is like the scene. It's an umbrella term which voguing, like runway and balls and stuff kind of come under. It's led to some sick opportunities. I got to perform at the Brits. Ballroom is still kind of thriving online. Like there's all these challenges going out. People are doing free workshops. Some people are doing paid workshops. And it's been interesting to see there's even been online balls taking place. I've kind of just done every day doing what I like. Even though I'm like working, I'm kind of making sure I'm I'm doing something that I like to do, like create or make music. Kind of teaching me and not to not to um take life for granted and and kind of do what I love. It's made me have more time to like sit down and do design new products and come up with new ideas, um, be a bit more interactive with customers as well and just have more time to speak to them. Um, and I think just more time for myself as well because um, I never really take any time just to sit down and chill and not just do anything that's work-based. And now I'm finding myself doing more. Like the other day I made a TikTok. I got like TikTok thinking it was going to help and that just made it worse. Making memes, filming viral videos, baking cakes, hosting online quizzes, painting masterpieces, banging drums, dancing, singing, living. In decades and even centuries to come, we'll look back at this strange time and grieve the thousands of lives that were lost and remember the anxiety. But we'll also recall how when the world stopped and all the streets laid still, that we discovered new talents and revived old passions together within our four walls. Really all we have. 